Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube, and today I want to give a massive shout out to the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment for making this review possible. They sent a copy of BL Metamorphosis My Way, the first volume of this manga. So what exactly is BL Metamorphosis? Now, the story involves Ichinoi, a 75-year-old grandma who teaches calligraphy. She is with and it's just le uh, living this wholesome, uh, wonderful life. And one day, out of the blue, she goes into her local library and sees that, uh, I believe she was looking for something else, and instead found the manga section of that library. And she unwittingly buys a boy's love manga. Now, she's shocked initially uh, of the material, but as she reads it, she finds that uh, it's good, she's enjoying it, and wants to check out the series even further. Now, the other part that's really fun about this story is the high school girl that's working there called Udara. She is a huge fan of it as well, and the two get acquainted for this fact. You know, she's working in the library, and when Ichinoi is asking for the next volume it's not there so she tells her oh i can pre-order the book and when it arrives you can come pick it up and all that stuff so she does and what soon follows is a heartwarming beautiful uh quaint little story about unlikely friendships and the power that uh, this medium can have, and by that I'm referring to books and the power to unite people over a common interest. I had no idea what the book was about, so I, it caught me by surprise, and I ended up just reading it with a big old smile. It's such it's such an easygoing book to read. This manga is uh, just a relaxing experience. The way these characters go about their business, I love that Ichinoi at uh, a later stage in life is finding her passion again for reading because she does mention at the start of the book that uh, she used to read a lot of manga back in the day and when she first got married and stuff so i thought that was really wholesome cute and heartwarming her relationship that uh, she forms with this high school girl uh, it is sweet and endearing and urara is very shy in school and mostly around everybody so that the fact that she can open up with an older person and uh, you know sort of geek out about their favorite books and stuff is really cool and i could definitely see myself in that position because growing up i uh eventually i started becoming uh, more uh shy and and not necessarily being an extrovert with everybody and when you find people that have the love that you do for a hobby it can be quite liberating and it can be quite fun so i definitely saw myself in that position with my friends but yeah uh bl metamorphosis is a sweet endearing manga don't um if you're not if you're worried about the boys love thing because i know it's not for everybody it's not a central thing for the manga you're not reading a boys love manga you're reading characters reading that stuff so while you do get scenes uh, that illustrate the manga that they're reading uh, that's not the whole point the point of this story is you know finding friendship in the least likely of places so for that alone, I wholeheartedly recommend it. And if it weren't for Seven Seas hitting me up and saying, hey, here is this copy of this book. Do you want to review it? I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll give it a shot because I'm open to reading anything. I don't really mind at all. So if it weren't for that, I would have not discovered this great series by, uh, I believe her name is Kaori Surutani. I think I said that right. Uh, there's only one book out. Uh, there's two more volumes that are supposed to drop eventually, but if you can, do give it a read. It's very wholesome, very endearing, like I've said. The art is relaxing and um, like light, 
uh, brush strokes, if you will, and it's it's a very clean palette, what you're reading. It's very breezy and easy to follow. You'll read it really quickly. It's a very light, uh, fast read, but you have a fun time with it. The characters are, are really cool. I love the relationship that forms between Ichinoi and Urara, and the story is sort of slice of life-ish with uh, hints of comedy. Um, and and the you know interpersonal relationships start getting explored as you uh, go further into the book, because while the characters are away, because you know it's the first volume, they're just starting to meet. Uh, you do know that these characters are going through different stages of their lives, obviously, but they're going through different things. And uh, I am very excited to check out Volume 2 to see where the story continues and to see if maybe life experiences helps uh, Udarada, uh you know, uh, shed some of that shyness away and how her relationship with this uh, person that she knows from high school, if that evolves or progresses forward. One of my favorite things about this book is uh, there's a scene in the first volume where Ichinoi is looking at the second book and she is wondering okay so volume three or the next one isn't out yet it's it looks like the writer's doing one per year so if we were to finish this I would have to be like something something age like 80 something which I thought was hilarious because we've all been there waiting for an, uh, a series to put out all the material in collected edition so I, I got a kick out of that also uh, the fact that Urata gave her uh, some maybe not safe for work books as recommendations and she, and she was super shy about it and wondering like oh did I did I screw up because you know I'm just meeting this person and oh boy so that whole interaction, I've been in situations like that. Not necessarily with the not safe for work stuff, just the uh, recommendations. And you don't know what the other person likes, so you don't know how they're going to react. So I thought that was pretty funny and pretty uh, relatable. That uh, for all you book readers out there, for all you manga lovers and comic lovers and all types of uh, literature lovers, I guess, you're going to find something to like in BL Metamorphosis. Uh, the art is breezy fun and wholesome same with the story so i highly recommend it once again i want to give a massive shout out and big thank you to seven seas entertainment for making this review possible and sending me a copy uh for me to review on this channel if you want to check it out i will put a link in the description below where you can get the first volume if you've read it let me know in the comment section as well what you thought of it and if not let me know what is your favorite slice of life comic or manga very interested in finding out. Guys, as always, uh, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. It really does mean a whole ton. Uh, I, I wholeheartedly appreciate it. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Also, I, I gotta remember to keep doing this because I always forget. I've had a merch store for a, for a while and I always forget to mention it at the end of the videos. So if you want to uh, support the channel, uh, if you want to take a gamble and get uh, a shirt similar to this with the logo, the channel banner if you will, uh, there's a link for that in the description as well. So I would be eternally grateful for that. I think that covers everything. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.